Hi guys, look who we have on the channel today. Hi, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> We're um, happy to have you here as yeah, well. It's been such a long time. Yeah, it's funny actually. how we see almost every time, but we don't collab. Often. So those of you that are always asking me, what's up with you and Nello? Where is Nello? Uh, by the way, our channel is back. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, mm -hmm. Ajay Anello is back. Yeah, so, he's back, so. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just leave it there. Should go again. Yeah, so we have a video on Nello's channel where we answered some questions. We played a, well, it's not a game, but like a card, card game. game where they ask you questions and you answer. Very so, interesting. Very, questions. very interesting questions. Very revealing questions, okay? So we're going to be answering even more revealing questions today, like deep questions. So, are you ready? Because we're ready, okay? <laughs> All right, let's start from the first one. So, when you die, what? <laughs> Why the heck is that the first one? <laughs> We're just jumping in. There's no. Okay. <laughs> when you die, what do you want to be remembered for? My kindness. Like I want yeah. to be able to impact people's lives in a way that it will affect, like the the effects, right? To pass on to their families as well. You know, yeah. and you know, just to remember by that, by my kindness, by my positive impact. Yeah. I don't even mind. I don't. I don't mind if like the world doesn't remember me generally, mm -hmm. but let me be in people's hearts always. Yeah. You know? So for me, I want to also be remembered for you know my impacts, my positive impact. Like, I want people to remember hmm, something that they said or something that they did made me this mm -hmm. way or made me get this or made me, yeah, just positive impacts. Yeah. Okay. What thing are you most scared to tell your parents? This is funny, right? There's no one particular thing I'm most scared to tell my parents. But the one thing I don't like te telling my parents is no. The word no. Yeah. Like, I don't like saying no to my parents. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather avoid that situation. Yeah. Don't just tell me. So I'll not have the opportunity to say no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, there's no one thing I'm scared. Just that I just, I don't like saying no. no. Yeah, I think it's almost the same thing with me too. Or anything that will disappoint them somehow. It's I funny. Care what not, my parents think of. Yeah, I'm not saying it's funny. I don't really think. I don't really care so much what my mm. parents think when it comes to disappointing them or mm. how I'm living my life. As long as I'm not harming anybody and yeah. you know what I'm doing, I don't consider it bad anyways. Because there's so many things that parents consider. Oh, it's wrong. It's mm, bad. Yeah. Or, it's really not. So I don't really care about their feelings in that way. But I just still don't like to tell them no. No. Yeah. What's something you disagree with about the way you were raised? Hmm. I disagree with the fact that women were men led to do everything. Women yeah. were raised to have sense and men were raised to not have sense. Mm -hmm. A lot of men were not taught basic things. And these are our husbands now and our uncles and brothers mm -hmm. and cousins and you know. Mm -hmm. And now we they suffer now, okay? Mm -hmm. Every day on social media, you're hearing it now we now we the women where they suffer the thing. So yeah. I don't like that about how we're raised. Um, yeah. Men were just a lot of things were less slide when it when you yeah, have to do with boys. Actually. Um, for me, for me, I think my, okay, like a personal example is we were raised to be too respectful. It's not a bad thing, no. But no, it can it be a, a bad, bad thing. thing. Yeah. It's a bad thing. Yeah. We were raised to be too respectful. So I still struggle with it now, even though it's not really a big dinner because I mean, I'm my own person, so I yeah. do whatever I want, right? But that's extra consideration I have for people. Sometimes it's yeah. annoying, like, and this thing you just mm -hmm. said now, me and my husband were just having this conversation the other day. My husband is very big God. Oh, you greet your elders, you greet your elders mm -hmm. when it comes to the kids. And I'm, I'm like, oh no, you don't have any business with them. You're passing them, you pass. You don't have to greet them. And I was trying to tell him that this is our upbringing, trying to play a part. Like, it's what is killing Nigeria Yeah, now. it's what's killing that, Nigeria. That's not even good. Yes, it's mm -hmm. our upbringing, trying to play a part. Like, yeah. what does my child have to do with greeting and other people? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was like, okay, fine. But when it's us, let him just greet us and mm -hmm. stuff. But now I teach my children. You don't. You're passing any elders. Keep your eyes straight. Yeah. You're not greeting anybody. There's no business. Yeah. Or if they come across, they don't be like, "Hello, move on." That whole mm -hmm. over respect. Yes. Over yeah. And and again, another thing I, I don't realize my growing kids. up, eh, like like now that I'm older, another thing I realize is that there's a difference between respect and fear. Some yes. things that we were taught to fear. Yes. It's not respect. We're well, yeah. taught that old people. Old people have know, know it all. Better. Yes, you can't even like. challenge anything they say. Like, no, no, it's not, that's not the case. Yeah. No. When was the last time you cried and why? <laughs> I feel like I know your own. <laughs> I cried this past week, eh, like at least yeah. 20 times, like a baby. I was yeah. in pain. And apart from the toothache, let me tell you, this was messing with me mentally. So now, 
let's say I talk to my sisters in the morning and they don't call me for two days. I'll just start thinking, do anybody really even love me in this life? <laughs> As my sister is telling me, does anybody really even love me? I'll just start crying. My husband can tell me sorry now in the morning and then go out and get busy. And then one day my husband now came back in the evening and bought suya. I cried like a baby that night. Yeah. Like why did he buy suya? Because I can't eat suya. Why did he buy suya? <laughs> and after he even told me, che, yeah, ah, babe, sorry, no man, no man. He went to work. He went to mm-hmm. his, um, his work table to work. And I was just on the bed crying like I can't even believe he just did that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he doesn't even know this part. <laughs> I cried a lot. Yeah. I've cried a lot this part. Any small thing can connect it to my teeth mm. and I just start crying. But I've not cried in the past few days. So there's progress mm. now. It's getting better. My mom was even, um, it was not the last two weeks or so when I had throat infection that affected my ears and yeah. my gum or more. <laughs> so I can't even imagine what you are going through because my mom was like I one cried, or two days old and I cried. I cried, I cried. Ah. I cried. every day. Like Woke up in the night crying times. self. Hmm. Every day, at least minimum four or five times a day. Okay. What is a mistake people often make about you? People often think I am rude. People often. Is it what they think or make? Mistake they make, yeah, it's the same thing. Mm. They often think I'm rude, proud, arrogant, I don't care, just walking through life, doing whatever the F I want, and not giving a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Mm. But yeah, that's mm. one thing people, that's one way people think about me that I just like, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not yet to argue, but okay. okay. You was your own. Yeah, I think my own is sometimes people think, um, People mistake my calmness for innocence mm-hmm. or, or docility or what I call it. Mm-hmm. Like you think because somebody is calm, the person doesn't know what's up. Mm-hmm. Uh, that uh, that <laughs> what is something you think everyone should do at least once in their lives? Ha! I feel talk calm. <laughs> talk now. I know fit. I've not done it, so I can't even do it. <laughs> well, I think everyone should do at least once in their lives. I think it's just that's not my bad. I thought, yeah, but I still cannot say it. <laughs> um, but what's this? I mean, let me say, let me okay, take it on the second thing. Let's just say get drunk. See, mm. it will teach you things. You're going to learn from that getting drunk. It's either you never do it again or you'll be stupid enough to keep doing it. But for the most part, then it will teach you lessons. <laughs> okay. Um, I think my own is um, maybe travel, girl's trip or something. Like travel mm-hmm. with other people, I don't know. Well, travel is mm-hmm. there for sure. Yeah. But like, for me, you it's like, party till you drop kind of thing. Like, you need to do at least once in your life and party. I think you've not done it. My mission in life is to get this babe one day <laughs> to party. <laughs> mission has failed. But that's right now that you're yeah, young. No, we're <laughs> 50 now. When I'm not resting at 50, I'm not be the one telling you. No, I'm not. Hey, I'm not going to rest past this time. <laughs> it's okay. me that will draw your shine there, right. we'll <laughs> What are you most looking forward to in the next 10 years? <sighs> I'm looking forward to my kids growing and by growing, being very independent. Dependent. Oh my and god. Yeah, just. I know you never stop worrying about your kids, but it will be a lot of relief. Do you Sophia understand? Sophia will be too. The fact that I can. Uh, uh, yes, the fact that I can leave my house and mm-hmm. in 10 years, Kobe will be almost 18, 18 mm-hmm. 17 years plus. So the fact that I can leave my house and know my kids are fine, fine on their yeah. own. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I'm looking forward to me being a billionaire to sponsor my lifestyle. That I want, so <laughs> because when they are home, I'll not be traveling the world with mm-hmm. my girls. You know, mm-hmm. hey. <laughs> exactly. No, but that's what I look forward yeah. to. Like, I look forward to all the trips, all the enjoyment, enjoyment that kids, all the freedom. We never the because we're, mm-hmm. they are small now and we're still trying to make money. Exactly, yeah. So. No. Okay, what is something you are certain you never experience and why? I'm going to proclaim this. I'm certain I will never experience loss in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It will not be my portion. It shall never come my way. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. There's no why. Why? Because I'm God's first daughter. God will not yeah. allow that allow that happen to me. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, yeah, I think that was mine too. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? My name? Mm. Hmm. I've never thought about that, but yeah. I've never thought about changing my name. But if I were to change my name, I'll probably change it to another Igbo name, though. That's all I can say. Because I love Igbo names. Yeah. I'm never going to just answer an English name. It was one thing I made sure for my kids. Like, my, all my kids bear their Igbo names. I just love Igbo names. I like the fact that people don't even understand it sometimes and they just they just know your name is 
Chin, I love. Chin, I love. But, <laughs> but they don't understand it. But yeah, it's really another Ibo name. I just don't know what. I never really thought about it. Maybe mm. Ada Jesus <laughs> or something. Yeah. I was, well, that's my middle name. My name, my middle name is Choma. One time I, in school, oh, I was telling people that my name is Choma. I said, about this. My father now found out and I said, no, your, your name first is name is Adesi. I'm going to answer Adesi. I like my name, Sha. But if I change yeah. to it, it'd be a nice. Another nice Ibo name for mm. me. Yeah. I'm not really big on English names. Mm. They don't even have meaning. They some, of them, do. some of them, mm. some of them. Some of them, just cartoon characters. <laughs> Sophia. No, it's not cartoon characters at all. Sophia. <laughs> Sophia's name is not cartoon <laughs> at all. Yeah, I knew her name that. before I even knew the cartoon. Yeah. I knew that name before I knew yeah. the cartoon. Really? The way mm-hmm. they told me, I was like, wait, don't be a cartoon character. And when you said I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I could not hold myself. Somebody said the name of their child. If you're a Christ embassy. <laughs> If you're a Christ Embassy member, you will know that name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People should tell us the meaning. Don't tell them. Tell us mm-hmm. the meaning of Sophia, of Sophia in yeah. the comment section. What mistake do you keep making over and over again? <sighs> I keep making the mistake of being over friendly. Yeah. For me, it's not okay. It's not a mistake not when a mistake, it's happening, yeah. right? But when people will not teach you the lesson, you'll not mm. be like, I shouldn't have in the first place. Yeah. So it's just that over friendliness. I'm the same person that people think I'm mean, I'm rude, I'm a snob, I'm a blonde, mm. whatever. But in actual sense, I'm overly friendly and mm-hmm. overly smiley. And I let people cross boundaries and I let it go. You know, things like that. It's always a mistake I regret. Yeah. You know, mine is even similar too. But it's not, I'm not even that friendly. But whenever I become friends with somebody too, I still let people. Not yeah. even just friends, safe. Everybody. I let people, yeah, yeah. like everybody. That, they let it's still back to that over respecting. I ah. beg, I beg. And then they let people get away with <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't even know how to say I'm no. I don't know how to address it. Because she get respect, mm. home training. She don't <laughs> say no. She don't address it. I'm like, oh. Okay. It's when it's in Bafa, I'll not be like, but why didn't I just, why did I not yeah. just say it? And she always sees it. Mm-hmm. But she not do anything about mm-hmm. it. What chance, chance encounter changed your life forever? <laughs> Meeting you! But it's it's it was the same answer. by chance. Mm-hmm. And, it, and you know the funny thing? It's I could divine not chance. have seen that mm-hmm. comment. Yeah. But somehow I saw it. Yeah. You know how that comments and mm-hmm. it's not even like I was having so many comments there. But you know sometimes it could have been another person's comment that I would mm-hmm. have seen and you know yeah. anything that would happen with that person would happen obviously we'll just do video move on. Mm-hmm. But I kind of met her. God sent her my way yeah. because God knew that she did that in Nello in her life. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but didn't we? Well, we are saying this in our laughing, friend, yeah. but somehow I think it's God. really God. You know yeah. why? If you check the history, let's go back to the history. Yeah. If you check the history, somehow, somehow, everything was our path we are leading to cross, but we yeah. didn't know. True. Because your husband it was my sister's uh, classmate. Yeah, classmate or you know? schoolmate. You know? She was my sister in law's schoolmate. You exactly. Know? Yes. It's she true. went to school. Mm-hmm. My sister in law. Her mm-hmm. mother went to school. Uh, her sister went to school with my husband, your husband. You know, me and then, her husband were almost birthday mates, by the way. Exactly. She likes Virgos. <laughs> and we met before in a you know, hospital. hospital yeah. Our husbands work together. Yeah, yeah, so we have the same job. Exactly. Our kids are exactly age mates. Yes. Well, apart from the last She's one. Sophia, yes, but they're yeah. still age mates. <laughs> yes, but Adana is older. But anyways, um, our kids are at least six years, six years, seven yeah. years old. Know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's weird, but yeah. we just have a lot of things in common. In common so yeah. I think God was just... we, my mom from yes, village. Yes, her mom yeah. is from my village. Mm-hmm. I'm her no che, yes. you get, you know. Yes. Her dad is from Ozubri, which is just like basically 15 yeah. minutes away, away, still not far. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we see it as chance, chance. but it's but not God, really, yeah. you know. We're just... I think it's, it's one of those people that are always my friends. Even if we are not living together. Yeah, but I, and I think another thing that, why, why I like it is that it helped us even with kids. It helped us a lot. Because our kids have It helped us with our career. Mm-hmm. It helped us with our, our kids. kids. Yeah. It helped us with life. Mm-hmm. Worst case scenario, my kids have a friend. Yes. They will come for a birthday. Even it's, 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 now, it's now I'm hustling to make other friends for my own children. <laughs> yeah. Kona never, Kona never, Kona never can't be girl. Me, I can't get two boys. As you say. Kona never, I was saying, could be watching Barbie. I said, but Kona is watching Barbie. I said, remove that thing. <laughs> Jokes apart, yeah. hey, don't come for me and say boys can watch anything, whatever. Let your children watch anything they want to watch. It's all yeah. okay. But the new other influences too, I beg. <laughs> yeah. I beg. Even my nice pretty Kobe. Yeah. When I came and saw Kobe dancing ballet with Kara, I was like, no, 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 no. 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 You never reach like that. You never, you never but, reach. Yeah, it was a chance encounter that changed yeah. our life. Oh! Yeah. Kiss, kiss me. Eh? Can, we, can we move on, please? Next question. 
What's the most illegal thing you've done? Ha! I know what she's talking about. <laughs> so I don't come and arrest us and me. <laughs> but what is the mild? I'm not the mild one. I know fits. I don't know. I don't know about you, but <laughs> even the mild one, I cannot. We are very law abiding citizens. Yeah, I've never done anything wrong illegal. in my life. <laughs> What's something you are self conscious about? I'm self conscious about my tummy, the size of my tummy. I feel like I have big tummy, you know, after giving birth and everything. So, I'm self-conscious about it, it doesn't mean, oh, it's in my mind all the yeah. time. But it makes me not to buy some clothes, wear some certain clothes, you know, yeah. Yeah. And I think my mind is, well, my body in general. Mm. Yeah, yeah, my body. But it's not, my tummy yeah, it's just that self-consciousness, but it's not like, it's not stopping anything. It's not stopping yeah, much, much, but it's yeah. just there, you know. I think yeah. a lot of people have given birth, they kind of have it at the back have, of their yes, head somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But it won't last for me. Don't worry. I'll soon repent. Yeah. We'll not hear what very we'll soon. Not say. I won't tell you people. You people will just see me doing try on for. <laughs> you will hold on. Thank you. It's coming. What do you regret not doing when you were younger? I regret not having many boyfriends. See, don't take me. <laughs> eh, don't, don't say I said though. But I regret not having many boyfriends. I regret not having many experiences you get mm. when it comes to exploring um sexually mm. <laughs> i'm not talking about sex here mm. i'm just talking about like i, the was, whole experience, I was good I guess. yeah mm. like i was i was loyal yeah. when yeah. i was committing sin anyways that is used to pay my yeah. ass but yeah <laughs> What's um, your own? What was my own name? Regret not doing when I was younger. I don't even know. What did I regret not doing? I don't know why I'm laughing. Why? I don't know. <laughs> why not? I don't know why I'm laughing. Just say what you want to say. What did I regret not doing when I was younger? Hmm. I don't know. You regret not living at all. I didn't say Not living, how? Huh? What fun thing do you used to do when you were younger? I had my own fun things now. It was fun to me. Well, mm. well let's actually yeah. let's put at that. Yeah, it was fun to me. I so. just remembered now. Yes, I, I enjoyed myself very well. She did enjoy her 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 way. Her own way. <laughs> okay, what stereotype do you completely live up to? Evil girls like money. Yes, we do. Yeah, actually. actually. I will forever lo oh. There's some words that in my mouth. Sorry. I will forever <laughs> love money. Even just mm -hmm. like money. Yes, yeah, so yes, we I do, like please. it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's one and that's why we attract it. Yes, okay. we attract money. These are, see, when you are poor and broke, I mean, you are the problem. It's not us. Exactly. We like good mm -hmm. things. What? Okay, how do you get in, in the way of your own success? This question is deep. Oh. Mm. How do I get in the way of my own success? I feel like for me, the main way I get in the way of my success is not putting in enough work. Mm, I yeah. know some things that can help me succeed. Do you yeah. get? I know some things that can help me thrive, you know, but I just don't put in the work. Yeah. I just don't put in the work mm -hmm. sometimes. You, you yeah. might see like I'm putting in the work, but I can yeah. do better. Yeah. But I choose to lie down and watch series anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I feel like I get in the way of my success that way. Yeah, um, I think I have the same. Um, that's that's the same thing for me. Eh? But now my own is not even in terms of because I'm beginning to forgive myself for some things. Like I beg, I'm a human being. Like I'm keep myself. I'm trying, you know. But at the same time, I feel like I overthink some things. Maybe mm -hmm. I think I overthink. Like I overthink, 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 over strategize so much that I now end up not implementing it. I think that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not yeah. it for me. I'm, <laughs> I go with the vibes yeah. and inshallah. How do they mm -hmm. say that thing? Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. yeah, I go with the vibes with things. Just that uh, standing up to get that thing done mm. is a problem for me. Yeah. Okay. In what way do you feel your childhood was happier than other people's? Hmm. This is a deep, serious question, especially for me. Um, happier. I don't know if happy is even a word used to describe my own childhood. Mm. Not like I was sad or angry, mm. but happy is not the word I would ever use to describe my childhood. Mm. So, Actually, when they're saying happier than other people. Yeah. Mm. I wasn't particularly a very happy child. I was surviving, mm. but mm. I wasn't a happy child. So mm. maybe you should answer that. Yeah, <laughs> my own was, I think, um, if I say this one now, you will not believe, but we didn't have much growing up, okay? So I'm always going to say that. 
we didn't have much growing up but like for instance we never rode bicycle we never had like i never had a bicycle in my life you know so we didn't have much growing up but it forced us and my mom was very guarded like she did mm-hmm. not allow us to play too much outside with people you know so because of that it forced us to be very creative with our own play it forced us to be very close i mean like i'm like me and my siblings it forced us to be close growing up we didn't quarrel much because there's no time to quarrel no time to fight like we need to play before mommy comes back you know yeah. so it made us very creative so we played a lot like yeah i played a lot as a child so i think that's what made it happier yeah not necessarily things and it's now making me even even not feel bad when I don't buy some things for my kids because I'm like, I beg you'll be fine, rest. Yeah. Mm. Um, this you just said is it, it, it's still part of the question because mm. for me, I, I did have bicycles, I did mm. have toys or whatever, mm. I did play, I did all those things, but you know, yeah. And the funny thing is, you know, the funny thing is now it's looking back that I knew that we lacked some things, yeah. It's looking back, like, I can remember one day I was talking about uh, people travel for somebody, my mind was like. <laughs> No, you asked me something about uh, passports. My mom was like, I did passports. As an adult, as a grown woman, that's what I did passports. You know, but yeah. Yeah. Different folks, the different strokes. Yeah. My thing okay. is something I didn't really need to sit down and reflect on, though. Right. And how it impacts your decisions and whatever now. My life today. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I thought about that thing recently. I was like, hmm. Anyway. The last question now is what is a skill you learned? when you were young that you still used to feel today or you still used to do what's the skill you learned skill mm-hmm. i was about to say making hair but i don't really make it today i don't even particularly mm-hmm. enjoy it so mm-hmm. but it made me money in the past i would say it's my i'm just uh, is that really a skill mm-hmm. like people's skill yeah it yeah skill? it is yeah yeah mm-hmm. i think yeah. it's rubbing me her leg here just so people know <laughs> but anyways is my <laughs> is my people skill? I believe I do think I have people skill. Yeah, you do now. Like okay, hundred percent. Yeah, I think it's my mm-hmm. pe- people skill. I don't even know how I learned it, but I know it's something I've always had from when I was small. Yeah, people kind of always wanted to be my friend, yeah. and I was very good with people. Yeah, and I still use it today. It's still useful mm-hmm. to me today, like events, crowded events, or mm-hmm. anything really. I can never be that person in a corner, not talking to anybody. Mm-hmm. It comes in handy, and it helps me as well with connections, and you know. Yeah, it yeah. opens doors for me. So, and we are so opposite that you know in my children's school because our children attend the same school, they don't know all the teachers. Yeah, I know. Talk to all the teachers. I talk to everybody. Just with all, as in just me and I know them, but just hello hi. I don't know. Yeah. Just with them, like I everybody. Yeah, I just have such a good people skill. Yeah. It comes in handy. Yeah, it does. You know, actually. knowing people is actually a luxury and yeah. a source of wealth. That is an asset. Now. Asset. Yeah, yeah. A big you know? asset. Too. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I think mine uh, is. I think it's that coping, will I say, yeah, that coping mechanism that I developed as a kid because we had to make do with what we had. I think I, I still use it till now. I In what way? Like, I can, I can endure the most. And mm-hmm. In what sense? You can endure poverty? Yes, I can. If I were poor today, I, I won't die. Like, I won't be able to that, oh, because they were poor, they, they couldn't they couldn't survive it. None of us will die. Eh? Mm. Come forward, but I don't believe this girl knows what she's talking about. <laughs> you know, I thought you wanted to say um something in sense of like you like um I just not knows how to handle people. Mm. Did you get I'm friendly, I talk to people, mm. but doesn't knows how to handle people. I doesn't knows how to handle people the way people should be handled. Handled, like yeah. it's a skill too that Yeah, I guess. Do you know I, I guess, mean? yeah. You, it leaves everybody I, I guess, sir. I don't know yeah, to... like you. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like everybody, no, nobody. If you are wrong, you know you are wrong. You will not. It won't. You won't misconstrue anything. Yes, yeah. I think it's just such I a. Mm. I don't know. I don't know the words. Yeah. You to explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a people skill in a different way. Yes. Uh, what I say is people think I am. Yeah. You know, like I say is very. <sighs> she she doesn't. You know you don't sugarcoat. Mm-hmm. She doesn't. Um, dwell. Yeah. She doesn't. It's a lot of. It, it's different aspects, but it just works together. Together, in, yeah. You, know, you don't dwell. You don't let things bother you. Don't let people mm. bother you. You mm. just. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I meant with actually coping. Okay. Yeah, that's what but I actually like, meant. That's why I said poverty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I meant with coping. Like because I was like, I, I can't like, I knew how. I know how to manage a situation that I will sleep better at. as in I will sleep yeah. well. Yeah. If like if I house be on fire, I will yeah. sleep well. Yeah. Whereas I'm the opposite. Like mm. 
I, I can't I can't see <laughs> if, if I don't remove things from my mind, my, I yeah. don't have peace of mind. Like if I don't confront things, mm. I don't have peace. So I always try my best to just confront things, but whenever I confront it, it's like I drop it at that very confrontation. Like yeah. but you already know my mind. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Once I don't know my mind, but inside my mind, I. But there's some of my mind that I don't even know, Seth. Because I'm learning from you now. Uh, but you are still saying it somehow. Like, the one is. <laughs> you cannot help yourself. <laughs> she cannot help it. The thing the was maybe hanging here, it that fell out. <laughs> but I don't really sleep well at night. Like, mm. what? But, um, for, but you've got me something, though. Do you know this? There's one particular one that bothered, mm. me, bothered me, but you're like, you know what? Be like I did, it. let it go, let it go, let it go. And I let mm. it go. Yeah, but don't, maybe not deep down my heart, but okay. <laughs> At least, did you die? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of, you know, our, I hope you guys learned something new about us. Yeah, this is such a different, new. nice. Yeah. yeah. So we have more on her channel, like I said. So please yeah. go and check it out. Yes. Okay. And yeah, we'll Stop see you. subscribe. Oh, yes, please subscribe. Like, We're comment, about to hit 100k share. on her channel. So and please. I don't even know if she I don't even know if she told you guys. Well, she didn't. She see, what I told you guys. Do you know, let me, yeah, see, the thing, see the thing about overthinking. I was like, no, I need to do a special video. I <laughs> or special live. And I've not still done it. Yeah. But I'm still going to do a live, Sha. Yeah. But yeah, so. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Adanelo, remember Adanelo. <laughs>